We are back at it again here with another video with the Invest for tomorrow. To the first time viewers and investors, welcome to the channel. To all subscribers, welcome back. Here we are with the SPY, the S&P 500 index, having a full move here of strength on 42 vision of bright green bars. You could see that dip area that we hit yesterday, full transition back up breaking through key resistance levels and within today's volatility our spy bot sent out a bull indicator at 10 15 a.m and from that moment forward inflows crossed the midpoint to the upside full strength there on 42 vision and call options went up 300 percent plus within hours guys and as you see they're popping up within the screen some options even went higher than that as you see it there within the options chain if you guys want to receive this clarity and edge of the charts you can now gain access to it as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator, getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors, all looking to learn and grow together by using these resources to maximize in either direction, whether stocks are going up or going down. So here we are with the SPY breaking through those key resistance levels that we broke down in yesterday's video. We're gonna look at what the inflow versus outflow is showing, but before we do, I wanna share with you guys the home run opportunity that was mentioned this morning over at the Discord. So the home run of the day was spectacular and beyond expectations. And if you guys wanna know about these stocks early on and receive this clarity and edge of the charts, check out the link down below in the description to the Discord. And by joining, you'll become part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together. So the home run of the day was from our Tesla bot. Our Tesla bot sent out a bull indicator at 9.35 a.m. And from that moment forward, inflows crossed the midpoint to the upside, full strength there on 42 vision, and call options went up 200% plus within an hour, guys. If you guys want to receive this clarity and edge of the charts, you can now gain access to it as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator and getting connected over to our discord we look forward to having you join us and we strive for opportunities like these every single day so here we are with the spy the s p 500 index breaking out of this channel of 378 to 385 area and every single time we hit dip areas we would bounce right back up to the rip areas and here we did a full transition from yesterday's dip area to today's rip area which this is 42 vision for those of you coming across the channel for the first time, it allows us to see the dips to the rips, the rips to the dips, and where the strength and weakness lies within the charts. And we also use our bull and bear indicators and inflow versus outflow as an extra layer of confirmation, which I'm going to pull up here. And you can now gain access to it as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator, getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together by using these resources to maximize in either direction whether stocks are going up or going down and in today's video i'm going to pull up the inflow versus outflow indicator which adds that extra layer of confirmation and gives us that edge within the volatility so here we are with the spy the s p 500 index under a bull indicator here since 378 in the pre-market and the inflows crossed over after the bell at around 381 area and things have hit highs here of 389 it finally broke above that 385 386 area and you could see how it found support right there things were slowing down and then it bounced right back up right above 385 386 area broke above the high of the day of 386.70 and these inflows continued that whole trajectory now outflows have began here on the 30 minute and things are slightly pulling back but the whole entire chart has not been completely destroyed to the downside or even a bear indicator hasn't even popped up this bull indicator is still strong here because these outflows have not crossed the midpoint guys this is crucial because if it stays above the midpoint any little pullback as i like to call it could be the setup for the next bull run right and this is the first time in weeks that we see the whole entire stock market, specifically the SPY, push up like this and break out above these highs from way back here from December 21st of 387, 388. And right now it's fighting to hold that. If it breaks through it, 385 is going to be critical. And what goes on up here, if the bulls can actually find support to start that staircase effect in the bigger picture right so if you zoom into the 15 minute within the volatility 
the inflows have been strong all day and there was a moment where this bear indicator popped up at around 382 and in this one bar it went from 382 to 379 but those outflows never crossed and things went right back up full strength there got a bull indicator again at 382 canceling this bear indicator and full strength on 42 vision to the upside now this is getting critical because as we saw in the 30 minute outflows have began but it's still above the midpoint and here on the 15 minute we are getting really really close here to the midpoint as we see it if that crosses down it could quickly start to reflect into the chart and the next support from way up here is 385 which has been the resistance and the rejection point for the last several days and weeks guys this is critical where it's at how much strength did the bulls really have here we will know on monday and how things react here within the charts and the first thing i would watch here on the 15 minute within the volatility is if these inflows cross over will it find support and bounce back up over it or will it crush right through it and start getting weakness here on the chart cancel out this bull indicator and pop up a bear indicator or will it stop itself before it crosses and have strength and also hold up here the 30 minute and bring it back up from red to green same thing on the 15 minute and this bull indicator continuing to hold strong now when we zoom out though onto the one hour chart we will see here that these inflows are looking pretty strong as well right you can see they cross back over this is something that we were watching in yesterday's video as the inflow switched from red to green and it was going to be crucial if this bear indicator got canceled by a bull indicator it certainly did here at 380 and then also those inflows crossed over going into the bell and look at that full strength here hitting highs here of 8.65 of inflows one of the highest points that we've seen since way back here on december 13th from the 12th to the 13th when the market went from 396 to high zero 413 so pretty high amount of inflows here if it could hold up that's going to be crucial and i would watch here if the inflows could stay above the midpoint and even stay green here on the one hour chart and if this bull indicator can continue to hold true that's going to be crucial as well and we haven't hit bright green bars many times on the one hour but when we zoom out here you could see that within the last several weeks every time it's hit it it has actually found a rejection point so what's going to make this one different well this has had the most inflows that we've seen in over a month now or nearly a month and within the last several weeks it has not hit this amount of strength so we're now back up at the rejection point from the 21st and we need to talk about key levels here based off the chart so let's zoom back in here on the 30 minute these outflows are beginning they haven't crossed the midpoint just yet that's why things are still looking strong if it does cross it it could quickly start to reflect into the chart and possibly even get a bear indicator but let's start here with support the first support is 385 guys if that gets broken through the next support below that is 382 and then all the way down towards 378 379 where this bull indicator popped up and i would watch if these outflows cross the midpoint to the downside or could it hold itself up above the midpoint showing that the inflows are still dominating right so if it finds support and goes ahead and pulls itself back stays above the midpoint and comes back up and it finds support somewhere around 385 382 area and brings itself back up like i like to call it this could be the setup before the next bull run the first resistance is the highs that we've seen today which was 389 i would just round that up to 390 and above that is 392 and then above 392 comes 395 those are the key levels i'm watching to the upside and to the downside this is at crucial levels here based off the history of the chart i look forward to seeing your thoughts down below and as always guys thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money